What's up guys, I'm back with another video. Here to review the Hulu release movie starring Zoe Dutch. And it is called Not Okay. I found out about this film on TikTok from a reviewer that I follow. And I decided to give it a shot. Now, Zoe Dutch is a really underrated actress. And I feel like she doesn't get a lot of credit. I first found out about her, of course, through Disney Channel. You know, she was on Sweet Life on Deck and she's had a really great success after that. She's gone and done plenty of great other things. But this film really resonated with me because it typically does with, it typically deals with how a lot a a lot of white people try to gain sympathy from the media. A lot of mainly white women try to gain sympathy from the media by lying and manipulating people into believing what they want to believe. But Zoe Dutch stars as Danny Sanders. She lives in New York and she has she she works as a journalist, I believe, and she develops this she has a crush on a guy that she is working with and she doesn't really get a lot of t attention from him so she decides to make up a lie and say that she's going on a trip to paris turn and she fakes her whole trip to paris by taking all these fake photos and everything making it look like she has actually been to Paris and it turns out that the day that she is in Paris uh, the the day she lied about being in Paris there was a actual real life bombing an explosion that took place so when this happens she kind of well not kind of she falls into this a whole bed of lies and plays the victim plays the victim about and just trying to get sympathy from others and while she is treated very well because of the sympathy she's able to get she gets a promotion she finally gets the guy's attention that she's vying for but she also has to attend this class with people who's going through like PTSD and stuff like that. That's where she meets this Africa. That's where she meets this black teenage girl named Rowan who has so who has a incredible amount of trauma after suffering her after losing her sister, which was very traumatic to her. And she lost her sister during a school shooting and their relationship is kind of like, I guess she sees herself in this Rowan's older sister. However, I don't really see that as the case because, I mean, they're on two opposite sides of the spectrum. I mean, uh, and Rowan is a activist. She's... I believe eight is eighteen year old. She's a activist and she stands out for guns, gun rights, and uh, equality for men and women, and everything like that. So I think so. Before she meets Rowan, she didn't even know what trauma experiencing trauma would be like until she runs into Rowan, and when she meets Rowan, Danny kind of feels, I wouldn't feel, it's basically a wake up call for her when she meets Rowan because she can never experience the pain and the trauma that she has gone through with losing her sister and with her being black as well, which makes it twice as bad. And when Danny eventually Danny is caught and exposed for being a liar and a manipulator when 
She exposes the truth. Of course, everyone is bewildered and pissed off and mad as they should be. And Rowan, this causes a huge drift between her and Rowan. Rowan and in, ultimately in the end, there is no right way to there is no way to apologize for what she's done because Danny was basically just manipulating and taking advantage of Rowan's trauma and using it as a selling point to gain sympathy from the media and her friends and even her co-workers. So it ultimately in the end, she decides uh, that even if she does apologize to Rowan, it will never be enough because she can never experience the same amount of pain and trauma that she goes through as being a white woman. And I did not know, and this, it was a satisfying ending because in actuality, that is how it works. And I am so glad that, I did not know this, but a woman of color actually directed this film, directed and I believe wrote this film as well. If it was a Caucasian woman that wrote this film, it would have been a happy ending and Rowan and Danny would have made up and be friends again, but I'm glad it didn't go that way. This isn't a typical movie I would re-watch over again just because Danny is a bad person and usually when it comes to media and how they see white women or any white person as a victim, it kind of it really just gets under my skin and of course other people of color skin because anytime a person of color is gone missing in the media or anything bad happens to us they kind of brush it off but anytime it's a white person it's front page news it's uh it's the first thing you see always so this isn't a movie i would typically go back and rewatch. i don't think you should watch this film if it's going to really get under your skin but it is something that's definitely relatable to today's standards of how white people and people of color are treated both differently in the media when it comes to mental health and everything so i thought this was a pretty good film zoe dutch is a great actress i'll give it three stars but let me know what you guys think of this film but don't forget to like share comment comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video <laughs>